discussion for experiment 11, which is determination of molecular weight from freezing point using freezing point depression. Um, for, for this experiment, we can find the, uh, the molecular weight for compound that are soluble in a solvent. So it has to be miscible, it has to dissolve. And uh, we measure the uh, freezing point for solvent. Then we measure the freezing point for solution. That means we add our unknown to the solvent and we get the freezing point for the, uh, for the solution. Freezing point of solution is going to be depressed. That means it's going to be lowered by addition of the solute and uh, is going to uh, de depend on a uh, number of particles of that solute. It specifically, it's going to depend on molality of the, of the solute. So we are using this equation, change in freezing point. The change in freezing point is the freezing point, how much freezing point has been lowered. Basically, freezing point of solvent minus freezing point of solution. That would tell us how much the freezing point has been reduced. Equals Kf, and Kf is the molal freezing point depression constant. It's a specific number just for this formula. I put it this way. So it's the uh, freezing point uh, depression constant and is, is the solvent specific. So um, it depends on which solvent you are using. It has a KF value fixed for that solvent and it should be given to you unless everything else is known and that's that's a different, that would be a different experiment. For this experiment, because we are trying to find the molecular weight for the unknown, Kf must be given value. And M is molality. Molality, lowercase m, is different from capital. The in capital, capital M is number of moles per liter of solution. And lowercase m, which is molality with an L, Molality or molal. Molality is the number of moles of solute divided by kilogram solvent. Okay. Divided by kilogram of solvent. So we have the number of moles of solute divided by kilogram of solvent. So delta TF it's going to be affected by Kf and the, and the molality. If we have the delta Tf, we have the Kf, we can calculate molality. So molality is going to be delta Tf divided by uh, Kf. Now we have the molality. If we have molality, we can find a uh, number of moles. So let's look at this example here. We have 10.180 gram of benzophenone. So this is the mass of solvent. Benzophenone is our solvent. Okay. And this would be the mass of solvent. Mass of solvent. Solvent is going to freeze at 46.8. So this is the freezing point of the solvent. Okay. When 0.68 gram, this is the mass of solute, which is the unknown sample, is added to this sample of benzophenone, the freezing point, it dropped to 42.6. So this is the freezing point for solution. This one was solvent. is the solution. If you subtract 46.8 46 minus 42.6 degrees Celsius for both of them, this is called delta Tf. Value for Kf, as I said, it needs to be given value. That divide by, by uh, so molality, it equals 46.8 minus 42.6 
divide by Kf, which is 9.80. That would be the molality. So we have the molality. Molality is moles per kilogram of solvent. So since molality, definition for molality is moles per kilogram of solvent, now we can find the moles of solute and that would be rearranging this formula. Moles of solute, it would be molality times kilogram of solvent. That's where it's coming from. Moles of solute is molality times kilogram of solvent. Um, so when we have the number of moles, okay? So the, the calculation now, it becomes very similar to experiment 10 because now we have the moles of solvent. If we have the moles of solvent, can we get to the, can we get to the molar mass? Yes. We have the moles of solvent, then we get the uh, mass of the solute also was given. Mass of the solute divided by moles of uh, solute is going to give us the molar mass because number of mole is molality times kilogram of solvent. And the molar mass is going to be gram of the unknown divided by moles of unknown. So we have molar mass for the unknown sample that was added to the, uh, to the benzophenol. So we are using collective property in this reaction. The, more number of particles, the more significant would be changing uh, change in the freezing point.